Jim, is that going to go down as one of those what-if games, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think we came here knowing that we had to do everything right today. It was always going to be difficult. Um, Exeter are a good side, particularly playing at home with, with, with a sort of a noisy crowd getting behind them. And I just don't think we're quite as accurate as, as what we needed to be today. That said, having conceded a try after just three minutes, you did very, very well to, to fight back and put yourself in the position to, at the end of the first half. Yeah, we did really. And again, we, I think we, sh we had a few more opportunities which we just um, didn't take. Um, but a, a lot of credit to Exeter, I think, today. They defended really well. They closed us down, stopped us um, attacking, stopped us getting any front football. And uh, sometimes that, that, that's then difficult to, 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 to then get things going. So a lot of credit to them. Um, we'll look back. Um, you want to win finals, you don't want to come and, and lose finals, but it's a one we've lost, but we've got to move on very, very quickly and, and, and look at the other games coming up. Do you think there were kind of one or two defining moments in that game or is it just a, an all-round, you know, not quite there? I think a little bit. I think, um, you know, we'll look at some of the decisions in the scrum. Um, we had an opportunity from a scrum in that first half where we could have taken some points and probably should have done, and uh, we, lo we lost the ball there. And, and again, in the second half, I think of the George PC lovely little offload, which possibly could have gone to Ken, and uh, and then you go and score, and, 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 and uh, it, it becomes a different game. But. Um, I th again, I think Exeter played well. I think probably on the day, on reflection, they, they actually deserved to win. Does it show us? Well, this venue was chosen months and months ago before the competition even started, but it also shows the importance of home advantage. Yeah, it does. And uh, we, we said that all along that um, it's going to be difficult down here. And, and that's what we've got to aim for with the games coming up. And uh, we're in a very good position in the Premiership. And uh, a home semi final would be very, very helpful. We don't um, really want to be having to travel away. So, you know, the aim is now we've got to buckle down, we've got to look forward to getting our international players back, which we do this week, and uh, hopefully we can get that home semi. The campaign's ended in disappointment, but how overall would you sum up the LV Cup this year? I think it's been a, a brilliant um, little journey for us, really, and of course we want to be out there holding up the silverware, but that doesn't happen, everybody can't do it. But it's been good for us, we've, um, we've rotated our players, we've given opportunities to a lot of the younger players to get really important game time, and we'll see the benefit of that, if not this season, in the, in the seasons to come. Definitely very disappointing, um, the boys are in a very good about the loss and the result but um you know we did well enough you know a lot of young guys coming in and playing and getting us here to this to this position getting the chance to go out there and try and win the trophy um you know we talked about coming here and it's going to be tough uh, we really wanted to win but um and the result didn't go our way campaign has been about more than just winning though hasn't it as you mentioned a lot of the young lads coming in and doing well i think it's over 40 players using the campaign which will stand the saints in good stead yeah it just gives them a chance the young fellas to come in play get some experience play with some experienced players and um you know they bring in bring in the enthusiasm um and the excitement um and hopefully the, the older guys bring the experience and the cool head but um you know it's it just drinks in the squad you know just in case injuries do happen as one of those more experienced players, how do you sort of impress on the younger guys getting over this disappointment? Um, just got to be upbeat myself, um, and you know, most of the boys will be you know upbeat later on. Um, you can't dwell on it too much. Uh, you know, as as disappointed as we are, it's um, it's something we have to learn from, um, move forward, and especially coming into the next couple of weeks. I'm sure you'll look back on the game over the next couple of weeks, but how keen are the squad as a whole to just get back on the horse and get stuck into sail next weekend? Yeah, exactly. Um, sail, another tough game coming ahead. Um, we'll have our internationals back hopefully as well. So, um, as I said, we've got to move forward, learn from um, this game, um, finals 40. It's, um, you've got to make the most of it, take, uh, take the opportunities when they're there and um, execute well. The LV Cup's over, just a quick word on going back into the Premiership. Is it easy to separate the two competitions and almost focus on the run that you have building in the Premiership? Um, personally, I just take game game by game. You want to win every game, doesn't matter what comp you're playing, you've got to go out there, enjoy it, have fun, um, enjoy the people that are around you as well. And um, you know, it's, it's rugby, so it doesn't matter what competition you're in, you, you want to go out there, do your best um, for yourself and family and um, supporters.